Hey guys, Lima here. In today's video, I want to talk about why I think this new King Charles coin design sucks. So I know what you're thinking. Lima, that is a very big claim. And there's really only one thing that I have to say about this. And let me show you my first reaction to when I first got this coin. I gotta say, Great Britain, they do not do a great job with these coins. In my personal opinion, the kookaburras do a way better job. I mean, look at the difference, how there's multiple finishes on this, how there's contrast, and how there's very, very well-defined focal points. And then there's this, and it's all just super flat. You can, like, in certain lights, you can almost not even tell that there's a head there. I mean, literally, look, you can barely tell that King Charles is even on this coin. So as you can see from that clip, my main critique on this coin is mainly the finish. This whole side of the coin has the same finish over the whole thing, and the relief is so low on it that in certain lights and certain angles, King Charles's head kind of blends into the background, and you can almost barely tell that he's there. This is in stark contrast to one of my favorite series, being the Kookaburra series. As you can see, there are so many different finishes on this coin, and there are very well-defined focal points. And when you compare these two coins next to each other, I think it's very obvious which one comes out on top in terms of eye appeal and a clever design. If we compare the heads of the monarchs here, as you can see, on the Kookaburra, your eyes are immediately drawn to the center with those different finishes, and then with this one, he's just kind of flat and boring. I also think it's a fair comparison to compare this two ounce Queen's Beast with the one ounce Britannia. As you can see, when I hold both these coins at the same angle, somehow the Queen's Beast coin is still better than this year's Britannia. Somehow the dimples in the field are more defined and they kind of sparkle in the light, as you can see. Whereas with this one, the sparkle is much less prominent. This one almost looks like glitter on the left, and this one's just super flat. And both of these coins are from the Royal Mint, so I see no reason why this coin can't be just as nice as this one. I just find it crazy to see both these coins next to each other. So let me know in the comments what you thought of this year's King Charles Britannia, and let me know what you think of a design like the Kookaburra. Do you prefer the multiple finishes on it like I do, or do you prefer a kind of cleaner, sort of proof-like look to it. Obviously from this video, you know which one I prefer, but everybody has their own preferences and this is just my personal opinion. So that's it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed, and of course I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.